Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get the shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Gal Kramer. Gal was the first person to say first to one of my videos and thus wins a shout out. So what do I got here today? This is pretty neat. Look at that, folks. This is the Predator drone. Actually, it's the uh, Reaper drone. <laughs> Uh, it's list, listed as Predator, but this is the Reaper version. You can tell by the v, upper V-tail on this. Um, but what's so special about it is, is a beginner's learn-to-fly airplane, two-channel airplane, uh, that uses differential thrust to turn it. Um, it is also gyro-stabilized, which means this will balance itself in the air, you know, trying to prevent uh, fugoid oscillations along with uh, preventing rollovers. Um, it will only allow you to go so far before uh, the gyros will take over and adjust the throttle so that uh, the airplane sort of more or less flies somewhat level without crashing. Now, this is a follow-on to a previous drone that came out. I don't know if it's the same company that makes this, but I think it is. <laughs> this is the C-17 two-channel drone. This was a really neat flyer. I still got it, as you can see here. This is one of my keepers. But the problem with this one was it, this wing were relatively small, which means to keep this one in the air, this had to fly very fast. The wing surface area of this airplane is quite a bit larger, so hopefully this should give us a lot smoother, slower flight than this. Now, I also tried to throw an all-in-one camera on this, and that was almost successful. But again, it was limited by the amount of wing surface area to provide lift. This actually might work if I put an all-in-one camera on it. I might try it in a future video, depending on how well it flies. Um, let's go over its control. Let's go over how it's powered. It's powered by 450 milliamp per hour battery. Um, it's actually a common 450 milliamp per hour battery. White low C. Oh, actually, the thing about it is though, it's connector. It's kind of an odd connector here. Um, it looks like an MCPX or M. I forgot all those others, but it is not. I tried to plug it into my uh, MCPX chargers, and it just wouldn't fit. It's a little bit large. So it's, um, one option you might consider is if you get this, if you want to use uh, generic batteries is to change this con uh, connector to something like a white low C connector and then you can use uh, generic batteries in this. The controller for it is rather basic too. Um, on the left here we have light control, although mine did not come with lights, although I guess there is a lighted version. And the right button here is for rates, beginner, intermediate, expert. The trim buttons do not work except for uh, roll trim might work. <laughs> we'll give that a try. It seems to be working. Um, other than that, basic airplane. So let's go for flight as things see how it performs and hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I plugged in that battery and we got to turn it on right here with the on-off switch. Notice the red blinking light. Immediately put it on a flat level surface to calibrate its gyros and turn on its transmitter and throttle up throttle down to bind it we should actually be good to go so uh, I'm going to try to take it off here from this flat area and let's see if it flies so hope you enjoy this flight oh, wow <laughs> hard left giving it hard left let's see if, whoa gentle hard right flies very gentle it's actually a nice flyer. Let's bring it down lower. Reducing throttle. I want to bring it by me. Leaving lower. The Predator. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. I think this will take off off the sand here too. I'm going to try that here shortly. More throttle to keep it in the air. Trying to turn it hard left. Okay, let's try those higher rates. Second rate. Oh, it turns harder. You gotta give it more throttle, but it turns a lot faster. Let's go up higher then. Hard left. I was trying to flip it there, but it, it didn't quite work. Okay, I'm in high rate right now. Is there a high rate? Nope, beginner intermediate. So let's bring it down low. Reducing throttle. These two channels, they fly best if you give them little bumps like this to turn them. A little more throttle. A little more throttle. 
turning left. Although the, the steering is proportional. You know, actually I take that back. You don't need to bump it. It flies very nicely with the proportional uh, steering on this. The proportional um, differential thrust. Flies really nice actually. You know, this just might be able to hold an all-in-one camera. Now, no, no special tricks. You ain't going to be able to do special tricks with this. <laughs> or loops and rolls. You know, simply a turning airplane. A beginner's learn to fly airplane where you learn how to maintain orientation on the airplane by its movement and how to turn it. Um, it flies slow enough, I guess, that you could. this could be a park flyer. You know, the C-17 had a hard time staying in one spot because you couldn't turn it hard like this. It's turning quite nicely, ain't it? It's a long flyer too, folks. At 450, you should keep it flying quite a bit, actually. Now, you know, why, why do you get a long, longer flight time in an airplane versus a quadcopter? Because you're not beating the air with four different motors trying to claw to stay in the air. Uh, you got wings. Although you still have two motors on this one. They're not going nearly fast as, uh, like on a quadcopter, not spinning nearly as hard. Uh. I'm trying to bring it down to my level here. Let's see if I can do that. I want to bring it real low. Lower and throttle more. Give it more throttle, stay in the air. <laughs> cool, huh? More throttle, more throttle. The Predator. So yeah, I think this actually could lift it all in one. That, that wing's more than big enough. And it seems to have quite a bit of lift. It's almost a, a glider. Speaking of which, let's take it up and try that. Try it as a glider. We'll go up higher. Increasing throttle. That's how you go up, folks. You give it a little more throttle. Not a lot of throttle. Just enough to start it climbing. And let's cut the throttle. There's it gliding. Give it back the throttle. Throttle up. Throttle up. Come on, gyros. <laughs> Stop those fugoids. It didn't like that. Cutting the throttle off like that. And then giving it full throttle. Now, now the gyros are confused. Now it's stuck in fugoids. Don't crash, I mean, don't crash. Let's land you for a second. Oh, there we go. Gyros are stabilized again. <laughs> so, flying quite a long time, this airplane. Pretty neat. Predator, or Reaper. MQ-9 Reaper. Now, there's a bird. Birdies are chasing after it. <laughs> I don't like it. Slow turn. Turn to the right. Let's go to the right again. Reduce throttle, bring it down too. Lower, lower it. Barely got any throttle on that thing at all. Come on, I want to do a flyby. One more flyby. Gentle, gentle turn, a little more throttle to keep it level, because it's coming down a little bit too much. MQ-9 Predator, or Reaper. Well, 
One more turn like that. You know, the more you fly it, the more comfortable you get with how it, how to control it to do what you want. <laughs> but yeah, general turns on the stick, it works well. I'm surprised actually. You know, normally these uh, two channel ones, you gotta keep bumping the stick, but this one here takes nice proportional turns. It does nice proportional turns. Reducing throttle. Reducing throttle. Going the other way. Slow turn. More throttle, more throttle. Uh, getting a little bit of fugoids there. But there, gyros have balanced it out. <coughs> now, how do those gyros balance out the fugoids? <laughs> well, it's adjusting the throttle there. It should be detected when it's pitching up and pitching down and adjusting the throttle accordingly to, to counter that. Except I did have a little bit of a problem there. Well, when I was gliding, it went into fugoids and it started to become confused. But under power, it seems to... Well, I guess that was the problem. <laughs> it wasn't under power. you got to have power on the motors for them to control the fugoids. So... Turning, turning. Wow, this is a long flyer. Well, I'm going to call it quits here, folks. i got some other airplanes to fly. This one is a real long flyer. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have time to fly all this one until its battery goes out. I think it's predicted to go for 20 minutes or something like that. So we're going to bring it in for a landing here on the dirt. Reducing throttle. Let's do that again. Oh, 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 no. It's, it landed. Did it like that landing? Let's see how uh, the wheels came out on that landing. It wasn't that hard of a landing. But let's take a look here. And one of my wheels came off in that dirt. I'm going to look for it here shortly. Yeah, look for it. But um, one thing I wanted to discuss before we go into that. Uh, I had to build this. This comes unassembled. But it's not really hard to assemble this airplane and put it together. It's simply held, uh, the wings are held on by three screws. One, two, three. That you, and the wings come and they come folded. You just unfold them, put them down, then put this brace over the top and then screw in these three screws. Uh, the back goes in the same way. The back uh, tail um, plops down there and then it's held in place by two screws. And that's more or less it. Then you plug in these uh, landing gear. I've got to find that wheel and you're good to go. So very simple to assemble. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out with the Predator MQ-9 Reaper actually. <music>